Hi guys, today I will be reviewing my predictions made uh, early in April and in May related to the SP500 index and I will try to forecast and to give some target for uh, the upcoming weeks. So what we can see here actually is a daily chart, so every candle is a daily one. Uh, we see a break up below the oblique support, so I've plotted a triangle. And as we can see here, we have three spikes in volume. So the first one in conjunction with the um, test of the oblique resistance created by linking the absolute high with the relative high. And now we see two spikes in volume. The first one with the retest of the X oblique support now became um, oblique resistance. And now on Friday, we've seen another spike in volume. If you remember early in April and in May, I was given as a target for the SP500 maximum 3,200 points. And I clearly stated that from that point, I could see a reversal. Okay, And the reason was because analyzing the Siesto A bands, um, I had as an upper limit this area, so 3,200 points. As you can see here, Okay, the price tested exactly this point, so it arrived to 3,235.4 points. So I said, I clearly said from 3,100, from 3,200, we should be uh, going down again. And as well here, we see a long black candle breaking below the oblique support. Now, in terms of targets, where we might go over the next weeks, okay, this is a daily chart, but in terms of timing as i always say it's very difficult to time the market also ray dalio suggests not do not to time the market but in terms of targets we might we could be much more precise okay so in terms of targets i do believe the sp500 is going to retest okay the gap area and the gap up area around 200 2800 points okay so here also uh, our uh, the siesto events uh, as i said lower band passing around 2870 points so uh, i do believe we might retest this area okay first of all we we should see a little rebound from 2900 points because we have this support this horizontal support so we might see a sort of squeezing to then retest this area uh, it's important to uh, underline that actually the sp500 is creating a downtrend channel okay as you can see here this is the the green is the support okay and the red one is the uh, oblique resistance so what we should see here now we're going to retest 2900 points or directly to 2800 points 870 to be more precise and from there we might see a sort of rebound retesting this okay forming a, a resistance which creates the channel okay uh, again in terms of siesto events uh, which are derived by the hard bands as a triple smoothing of the hard bands we see that the channel is getting horizontal okay and uh, so the derivative is still uh, positive as you can see here but the channel is clearly okay the cycle is clearly getting horizontal which actually uh, might prelude to a movement downwards okay again the price is clearly breaks is clearly breaked below okay the horizontal the oblique support and uh, which means that over the next weeks this is the area where we are going to to move okay okay guys if you want to receive the signals from the siesto events or receive personalized one-to-one -one consultations you might want to contact us okay thank you guys